Ladies and gentlemen, our next speaker for the World Conference on Antimicrobial Resistance is a journalist. She has written dozens of articles and has just released a new book on the subject. Please welcome Kate Stone. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, we are facing a global threat. And time is running out. Because if we don't act now, then in 2050 there will be more people dying from resistant bacteria than from cancer. Antimicrobial resistance is a complex, multi-dimensional problem and solutions are not easy and involve a lot of stakeholders. Medical experts around the world battle with increasing antimicrobial resistance on a daily basis. I visited very different medical institutions, modern ones, but also very small ones. And there was this one specific visit to a very experienced medical microbiologist, which I still remember. How do you see the future of human healthcare with resistant bacteria? Yeah. If resistant bacteria get into the system, it won't only be a tragedy for the patient. Simple operations today, such as knee replacement surgery, could become very dangerous procedures. The risk of being infected by an untreated bacterium would be intolerably high, along with the inevitable personal, logistical and financial consequences. With our current policies, usage and globalised way of life, the bugs are winning the battle. Whatever use of antibiotics, we contribute to an increase of resistant bacteria. The public gets exposed to these resistant bacteria in different ways. This includes direct contact with animals, but also via food and the environment. For example, the water in which we swim, or we use for irrigation, but also manure for agriculture. Talking to experts really put things into perspective for me. It's more and more difficult to find effective antibiotics for invasive infections in humans. We really need to safeguard these antibiotics only for human use. How can it be achieved? Professionals that are involved in animal husbandry, they need to be more aware that this is really a very important topic. Secondly, we really need to make antibiotic use transparent. And thirdly, we need to adapt animal husbandry into a system that is not dependent on antibiotic use, which is currently, unfortunately, the case. Personally, I was amazed about the low number of newly developed drugs nowadays, and also about the costs involved to develop a new antibiotic. It triggered me to talk to pharmaceutical companies and to discuss their role, because they also have a responsibility there. I was really surprised so few new antibiotics are coming to market. Why is that? Our business model is fairly simple. We only invest in a new drug if we can earn a sufficient return on our investment. And in this model, intellectual property is an important tool to protect our market position. But of course, we still have to invest in clinical research, which is extremely expensive. And by then, when we want to keep the drug on the shelves, there is no market. And those are some of the reasons why the pipeline to new antibiotics has virtually dried up. Of course, rapid diagnostics would reduce unnecessary prescription. All over the world, people are just overusing antibiotics. But sometimes, we also focus a bit too much on the developed hospitals, on the overusage, the excess of antibiotics. In the last few years, I visited some small hospitals in developing countries, and they have different problems. They have a different situation. As you know, here, it's more about providing access to basic health care. Last week, there was a young boy brought in with a serious infection. We didn't have the right antibiotics to treat him. Even if we did, we're not always sure of the quality. So what do you do? It all begins with basic hygiene, prevention, and of course, uh, prudent use of drugs when drugs are scarce. But at the end of the day, it's all about the patient. And at some point, each and every one of us is a patient. Antimicrobial resistance is now finally recognized for what it is. A global health threat like no other. And we must prevent sliding into a post-antibiotic era where a child scratched knee could once again kill. Thank you very much for your attention.
Thank you, Kate. Any questions from the audience?